If you're starting a YouTube channel just to make money, you're setting yourself up for failure and your life will change for the worse. But there's more to the story and you can learn from my mistakes. I want to share everything that I've learned with you. So first I'm going to share everything money related on YouTube and then I'm going to explain the power behind this platform. Second, I'm going to share everything that you should not do if you want to make YouTube a stream of income. And at the end, I'm going to give you my brutal advice on what it's like to make YouTube your full time job and how much I've made thus far. And if you're a newer youtuber comment down below so that we can all sub to each other and just become a huge community i'm gonna be the first one to tell you this starting youtube to create a business is the hardest business that you can start youtube can 100 percent bring you life-changing money and i'm gonna go through the analytics to prove this but if you're looking to make like a hundred thousand dollars in your first year youtube that's just not gonna happen and here's why okay so these are some quick analytics from my business partner and literally with just three high performing videos he fully monetized and made almost a thousand dollars in his first month. I've been doing YouTube for a little over two years now. First time that I've uploaded a short was in 2023 and I've been doing long form for about nine months. When I come to the earn tab, I'm about 400 watch hours away from full monetization. I already have monetization for all of the memberships and I've been posting weekly for about a year now with a couple of decent videos, but there is a misconception that a lot of these YouTubers are starting to make. YouTube is not easy. Like It's actually very hard. A lot of these creators are making videos saying how YouTube is on easy mode and da da da. That's not true. In June, I had my first quote unquote viral video. It racked in around 16,000 views, 621 watch time hours, 260 subscribers. And you can see that after that, I literally was in a drought for over a month, just not getting another high performing video. I've seen it a thousand times before. If you don't really love YouTube, you're not going to be able to just go through all of these videos failing, failing, failing with no monetary value to keep pushing through it. I am not one to sugarcoat when it comes to YouTube. Failure is inevitable on YouTube, but the faster you fail and get all the mistakes out of the way, the sooner you're gonna start seeing success. So many of you guys leave thousands of dollars on the table and stop posting because of the algorithm. That shit is a myth. I promise you I've been down the same rabbit hole that you're going through right now, watching countless videos, trying to figure out if it's worth it to grind a channel or not. That is useless, time-wasting nonsense. The only thing that's holding you back is the algorithm, and that's crazy. Asking the algorithm to take a chance with your content and posting for the algorithm is the wrong way to do it. Don't make content for this AI system. Make content for people, yourself, or higher RPMs. I'm in the money niche on YouTube for two reasons. I love money and I want to make a lot of it. And the amount of money that YouTube will pay you when you talk about money in your videos is just insane. Like it's crazy, but it doesn't really matter what you post on YouTube because it's the most powerful platform on the internet. And with this feature that they just released, it's a complete game changer. The YouTube community tab is something that every creator should be taking advantage of. I don't care if you have two subscribers, 37 or 2 million. The community tab gets an insane amount of organic reach. Look at this. In the last 28 days, I've gotten 2.5k impressions, 31 likes, and somehow even a subscriber from the community tab. But it gets even better than that. If there is a product that you have and you want to sell, you can market all that stuff in your community tab. If you run a business or you have skills in another field, you can sell your value that's why there are thousands of creators who still aren't even fully monetized but they're making ten thousand dollars a month off of these high ticket leads and selling their courses and their valuable information that they have another worry that a lot of you guys have is the subscriber threshold you know me man i already got my 1k <laughs> but in order to monetize you need at least 1000 subscribers and in order to sell someone a product they're gonna have to trust you and that's essentially what a subscriber is now your boy isn't the greatest at getting these watch hours but you can see by my current subscriber count 70 in the last day you know we make it work this is my best performing video and you see 28,000 views with 140 subscribers that's actually a lot more than most people get on viral videos as well as this one with only 16,000 views 264 subscribers is actually insane and this is really what got me to that 1000 subscriber threshold and with a low performing video you know low watch hours but 15 subscribers that's still a really good amount for a small channel now the average time that it takes to hit 1000 subscribers is within 100 videos but i did mine in about 25 videos and that just goes to show that every creator will have their own edge and if you're trying to make a living off of youtube you have to hit certain pain points 
The content that I create makes this motivation with entertainment and value. There's a very clear purpose behind all of my videos and that's why I feel like I've been able to connect with certain audiences easier than other people. I'm an entrepreneur chasing financial freedom and using YouTube correctly can 100x your dreams. Just looking at Jake Paul and his brand, Logan Paul and his many streams of income and KSI, his business partner, they would not have nearly as much money as they do without YouTube and without KSI's unique ass laugh like it's so weird bro <laughs> And speaking of how much money they make, let me fill you in on how much I've made in my first month of being 3 fourths monetized on YouTube. This right here is the roadmap. This is where I want to be in the next four to six months. And this is what I've done previously to make money on my YouTube channel with YouTube. So this is my toner mic right here. I got this off of Amazon and with affiliate marketing and the help of YouTube, I was able to get some commission, sold six products, all that stuff. The next one is partnerships. Partnerships are a huge thing on on YouTube doesn't really matter how many subscribers you have but you'll probably start to see more of them after you've gotten a thousand subscribers I didn't take this deal because the product just didn't really mess with my audience and it just wasn't the right price range for me I know I can make more from something like this and I kind of want to do short-term deals because I don't know what's gonna just hit me in the future and then going down to this one this is multiple channel monetization so as soon as I get monetized on this channel I'll start to post on my other channel as well, try to monetize that one with a bit of an easier editing style. So it's just more authentic content to help my personal brand, which actually will coincide with the next thing which is Shopify. So right now I'm thinking of starting a brand, probably Dub Club, branded merchandise, you know, stuff like that. But it's gonna be, you know, high quality merch within a clothing brand. I already have a Shopify store. I just haven't released it yet. So you can't find it. I don't have the name on here. You're not getting none of that early. But what I will say is that I wanna take all of my real loyal subscribers who I really grow with and I wanna build a brand. I wanna get their insight on what they want on the shirts for when I actually release it. But right now we're just working on monetizing both of these channels because two channels monetization on youtube is a lot of money especially when one is in the money niche and then in the other one i can make videos on whatever i want now that you've had a taste of what's possible on youtube here is my brutally honest advice guys it is 2024 and right now is q4 this is the best time of the year to start creating content and selling products every day that you drag of not posting a video or not working on a skill is an opportunity lost just think of like jinxy he's doing this every day and that's why he's making a thousand times what you make in your whole lifetime it is not too late to start on youtube it is not too late to make hundreds of thousands of dollars with this platform surround yourself with content creators and entrepreneurs who are going to push you and make you better if you're okay with growing older and older and not really knowing what your full potential is that's following me stay comfortable stay over there yeah stay your ass over there far far away but right now you have an opportunity to try something that can change your life almost instantly i respond to my comments i check my dms i check the community tab i will help you so start making these mistakes now so that you can start making money and so that your life does change and watch this video right here because you can see how i'm starting to make life-changing money right now and like i said earlier comment your channel down below so that we can all become a community we can support each other and get it going